listen man this expensive so i gotta record every chance i get <laughs> Yeah. You like it? I love it. I love it. It's awesome, bro. That shit's nice. Thank I've you, seen man. the picture. I've seen the picture on, on Facebook. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> when I saw the pictures in the dealership, uh, 21. 21? <laughs> bro, I went all the way to West Palm Beach for this. This might be, this might be the end. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Yeah, Crazy. Hey, don't go sideways. <laughs> different in the passengers you know I'm like saying slow down <laughs> yeah you look scared bro oh man yeah this guy is no joke oh man mm. yeah I filled up the tank this morning before work like max on on F <sighs> it's already went down a little bit mm. but that's, I mean that, that's kind of reasonable for flooring it like that yeah of course. I floored it a little bit on the way here job. that's not too bad yeah, you can get decent gas mileage. Like I saw the best on this was 28 miles to the gallon. That's decent for the cutter. <laughs> <It's got laughs> the What's the difference between track and sport, bro? Um touring uh sport, um bro, I haven't explored this car much, but I know the transmission behavior changes a lot. That's the main thing you feel in this car, uh, the transmission. But um, when you're in this, well, no, don't turn that off. <laughs> nah, I do when that. you turn it off, like track mode gives you like sub modes. It's like there's track mode, but there's different handling characteristics. I haven't even messed with that yet, but it's probably the stability and the traction for different levels. Yeah, it has like wet handling, dry handling, mm -hmm. sport one, sport two. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> and one called race. Uh, I just tried race mode yesterday. I don't know what it really does it's yet. The highest one. Yeah, I don't know what it does, but I have to research that, man. That's crazy. There's a lot to learn about this car. Oh, that's gonna sound loud under the tunnel. We'll put on the window for this. There's not much room. <laughs> Jesus Lord. to get used to a car you've probably driven faster cars i know you've driven race cars before, so. shit oh same place uh yeah you can repress it to the same thing <laughs> jesus damn bro you hard skip the beat bro you thought bro this car is big like this feels bigger than the ss professional bro this guy don't even have to use the backup camera old school what do you think, bro? It's still slow? It's still, it's slow. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah, 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 it's good. Yeah. yeah. All right, that's it, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm on my way home from work, man, and um, <laughs> I can say that it feels very good to be surrounded by friends or co workers um, that are genuinely happy for you. Anybody supporting you in any way or just cheering for you, you know, so um, Yeah, that's so why I have uh, I have pretty Pretty good uh, people, you know that I work around with um, And yeah, so um, I'm going home right now, man um, It's uh, it's near the weekend for me. It's Friday afternoon, um, but you know, I gotta go home and um, Finish working for the day first I left work early because uh, um, I'm, I'm not feeling too good, so I'm gonna be working from home for the rest of the day, and then um, I'm actually gonna pick up power before before I go home. But yeah, guys, um, definitely more ZL1 content to come. Uh, just stay tuned. Uh, I'll try to make the videos as entertaining as possible. Um, besides what I have planned, if you guys have any questions or want to know anything specific about this car or you want to just see anything specific, man, feel free to let me know, you know. Um, um, I'm very open to doing anything you guys like, except if it's illegal, <laughs> all right? As you know, we don't speed around here, you know. If we speed, it's a green screen. You know, the speedometer is altered. We don't, we don't do illegal stuff here. Um, man, I don't like this truck next to me right now. Um, I feel so low to the ground. Like this car feels like it's kind of lower than my SS for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just like maybe, maybe it's just like in my mind or something. But man, I don't like that truck next to me. Oh my. All <laughs> Boy, this bitch, <laughs> this bitch gets up. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me flip the camera around for y'all, man. This thing gets up. Shit. Man. Holy hell. <laughs> Ooh. Man, I, I apologize to some of y'all if you don't like cussing, but... Sometimes I just can't help it, man, especially driving this car, bro. Like, it just feels unreal to me. Oh, I can hear the supercharger sometimes. It's not as loud as a Hellcat supercharger, but when you do hear it in this car, it feels nice. Man. <laughs> Guys, I'm telling you, um, I'm glad I didn't take another car over a ZL1, man. Um, everybody has been telling me ZL1 in my DMs, ZL1 in the comments, ZL1. And I had so many different options in my mind, you know. And um, the reason is I had, um, I have a whole history of Camaros, you know, not just um, with my SS. I had a, a fifth gen. Uh, RS, it was a V6. Um, I had it before my 2017 SS, and I had a whole bunch of problems with that. And you know, with my 6th gen, I didn't really well, I didn't have many problems, but the problems I had were annoying enough, you know, like transmission issue, man. Um, any car that gives me a transmission or engine problem, like it's an, an immediate turn off for me, so um. The fact that I actually went back to a Camaro now again, a ZL1, that's actually, <laughs> most people wouldn't expect that, but you know, I, I don't know, man. When a car just feels right, I guess it feels right, you know, at the same time, you know. Supposedly the LT4, which is the engine in this car, is uh, built stronger. Everything should be stronger in this car, so I, I mean, I don't expect any problems. Um, I have a lifetime powertrain warranty on this car um you know that's i know that sounds like too good to be true guys but 
if you know what, if for those of you who know what a power train warranty covers, to have a lifetime, like no no gimmicks or anything, a lifetime power train warranty, that's unheard of. Um, usually manufacturers give you up to what, 100,000 miles um, and what, maybe five years or something like that. Um, I know some manufacturers are more, but I've never heard one of a lifetime, you know? And I believe it's transferable. I can't remember. Or maybe it's just the regular warranty that's transferable. I can't remember. But uh, but either way, man, um, I know for the lifetime I own this vehicle, I don't have to worry about any powertrain issues, you know? Um, even if it's covered, hopefully I don't have any. But <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it even if it's covered, you know? But yeah, guys, so... So far, so good with this car, man. Um, let me show you guys a little bit of the interior. I mean, most of you have seen, if you've seen a ZL1 interior before in one car, you've probably seen it all, right? Um, but this one, um, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, the red seat belt in this one. Um, I would have really liked that. I'll probably upgrade later. Um, for those of you who maybe know where they sell these or replace these, let me know. But yeah, I think I'll probably want to upgrade to the red later. Um, I like all the red seat belts look, man. But I mean, I can't complain though. I mean, I got I got this Camaro in pretty much the spec I wanted and I didn't have to like order it online, you know? Like this has the sunroof, um, the 10 speed automatic, um, the color I never thought I, I don't know I can't show you the color from here but the color I never thought I'd be I'd um, take this color um, and like on the pictures it just didn't look right They're like it was just like eh so that's one of the reasons I said like I was just coming to look at this car and feel it out man but seeing this car in person the color is very nice it's it's gray but it looks bluish uh, you know um, I'll try to get uh, more shots for you guys in the sun but so far, so good, man. I love this Camaro. I know some of you guys are really diehard manual fans. Um, and I would have really loved the manual for the rev matching. Um, I li I just love the way the car sounds like rowing down with the gears and, and that auto rev match, man. Um, yeah, I know some people would knock you for <laughs> for using auto rev match. You're like, oh, it's not a real manual. But, man, I, I don't <laughs> I'm 33 years old, man. I'm getting old, man. I, I there's certain things I just like, you know, don't care too deep about anymore. It's just like, you know, it is what it is. You know, sometimes you just have to accept some of the new technology that's out. Except if it's electric, don't accept that. My bad. <laughs> there go my baby. No, I can't swing. Bye. Right. Yeah. Hold on, let me uh can you fix the monitor for me? Um just um as long as it's uh, no, I think I got it actually. No, the car is so freaking loud. Is that loud? Yeah. Is this on bad door or is this like good loud? It's good loud, but it's loud. Damn. Anybody ever say that? Yeah, I mean, everybody likes it, but damn, I don't want it to be like obnoxious, you know? Yeah, I like it, but like it's loud. They gotta get used to it. Yeah, that was work. Work is good. Yeah, I had to leave work early because my stomach doesn't feel good, so I told my boss um, I'm gonna just work from home for the rest of the day. Right. So, yeah. Well, what happened? 
I don't know my stomach. I don't know why my stomach just hurting so bad. Like, what did you eat? I can did barely you even eat? sit. So, did you eat? Uh, no, I maybe when I was just probably gas. Why is this guy so close? God damn. Okay, and your plates, buddy, in case you hit my car. You know. Gosh. I'm getting everybody's plate in case you hit me. Yeah. I'm not going above 2,000 RPMs. I'm not going above. Amen. 45 miles. What do you mean, huh? 